<laughs> Maple syrup time. You know what it's about out here. Canada's also in a heat wave, shocker. We're doing whippets. He doesn't see us, we don't have a pass. Peep that sweet maple leaf. <laughs> That's where we were supposed to park. Dang, this shit's good. I don't know what we're gonna do. We made it to Squamish. We're wandering around trying to find our first climb. Hmm. Calculus crack. Can barely see the rock. And uh, I don't know where this climb is. All right, making our way through the forest approach up to the base of our first climb in Squamish. First time climbing in Canada. First time to Canada in general. Lots of big granite spires. Can't really see how large it all is here, but it's big. You know, came from the road down there. Hiking up. Ready to climb some sweet cracks. Our first climb up here. So, at the nice finger crack after, we are on the chief on the apron cockless crack. So, having fun moving our way up. I think that's hard because of the temperature. Yeah, it is warm out. <laughs> Uh, we're from Colorado in the state. Oh, no way. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. It's our first uh, time in Canada, so we're uh, excited. Sweet. All right, we are out here on top of pitch five of Calculus Crack. I think it's technically the top. I think the wrap anchors are up there. Lots of granite flaring cracks, which always makes the gear placement scary. So that's fun. A lot of parasailers over in the lake. Pretty beautiful on the Chief formation. Jordan was so stoked to find a slack line already set up in Squamish. We're hanging out after the climb. Gonna go in town, get a beer. We need to get some Canadian money so we can sleep here. This is the Grand Wall. A giant uh, rock fall happened, I think a month ago, and so. There's no climbing on the Grand Wall, but it's okay, because they're all hard climbs. And uh, just live in life. stereotype about their accents is 100% true. We met so many wonderful, nice Canadians on the climb that were like, oh, where are you from, eh? Oh, sorry about it. Even the homeless guy last <laughs> night that tried to hit on Kristen <laughs> saw me and was like, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Apologizing that uh, he offended her and I. The maple syrup is everywhere. They call their Americano Canadiano. Canadian on whatever. It's coffee and it's a shot of maple syrup. Uh, every country has a signature McDonald's item. They're, I think it's their Big Mac or something. It's called the Grand Big Mac and it has maple syrup <laughs> on it. So that's exciting. Alright, so that is the chief. Basically, most of the Squamish rock climbing is in that formation, which is pretty awesome looking. We climbed. This bottom right, the top of there today, wrapped off. That's called the apron. You can see uh, the shape of it. Some peaks where the town is Polish. There is a slack lining festival, which is my dream, Kristen's absolute worst nightmare. So I'm excited to go at least just check it out. Maybe show off some skills, who knows? And uh, Kristen might, might die of embarrassment, but that's cool with me.
right, it's day two in British Columbia. We're still in Squamish. We're staying in Squamish for a couple of days. Um, it's really smoky out today. There are a ton of wildfires in British Columbia. We thought they were the wildfires from Washington, but it turns out it's here and all the smoke's now blowing into Washington instead of the other way around now. Um, we're gonna try to do Skywalker climb today. A little bit nervous because Canada is also in a heat wave. Shocker, we cannot escape the heat wave. So the high, um, I think is around 90 something. All right. Start of Skywalker. Other than the sheer torturous pain, it's like not too hard, honestly. Real, because you can lean in. Yeah, like the way I'm doing is actually pretty nice. Sheer torturous it pain. Just hurts like crazy. pitch of Skywalker. This is the last pitch there, some undercling and traversing across that slab over uh, nothing. So <laughs> this is Squamish. You can see the chief over there. This will be climbed in the lake, so may the force be with you. <laughs> Yeah. 
topped out on Skywalker. Here's the lake out here in Squamish. There's the chief over there. Those were our top bolts. Just chug some water, put our shoes on, eat some cliff bars, and now we're hiking up. I think there's uh, some falls, or well, we know there's giant waterfalls here, but I think there's some pools that everybody's talking about. A few minute hike up out of the top here before we hike back down to the car. So before we do, after we do that, I think we're gonna do some other single pitch climbs in the area and then head back and uh, make some lunch. Get some ice cream. <laughs> All right, we got it. Got the ice cream cone and the chief in the background. Narwhals. It's a pretty awesome little spot to hang out to grab some ice cream. I got blueberry lemon and chocolate hazelnut crunch, which is outstanding. Kirsten got. Double chocolate sea salt caramel. Dang, this shit's good. Um, good times, hot day, and climbing, ice cream, can't beat it. All right, no. so we're out here in Canada, <laughs> and uh, first off, peep that sweet maple leaf inside their logo everywhere. Um, I broke, and I broke Kristen with me. I saw that their burgers have maple syrup on them. And so that means we're going to town. It doesn't look that good. Oh yeah, it doesn't. I don't think either of us have had McDonald's and I don't think I've had it since college. Um, but sweet. Maple syrup burgers? I don't know about it, but it sounds delicious. And uh, we also bought maple syrup at the store. Oh my God true Canadian maple syrup. We're gonna add in our oatmeal in the morning to uh, get the true Canadian experience. All right, we followed the Big Macs, or the, sorry, maple quarter pounders up with a beautiful healthy salad. So I think those cancel each other out. Um, how good was that burger though? It was really good. It was a lot of fun. That shit was good. I'm shocked, but maple on um, McDonald's burger is outstanding. All right, maple <laughs> syrup time. Canada grade A, amber rich taste. Ingredient, maple syrup. 100% pure. I don't know how much you pour into oatmeal, but. Not a lot. Damn, oh, that's good. <laughs> Jordan is finishing up octopus garden. This is our third day in Squamish. We are at the Smoke Bluffs area. We have climbed a bunch today, just a bunch of single pitch routes. Jordan's gonna throw the rope down. We're gonna top rope this 10 a finger crack. But we were over at the octopus garden wall earlier doing some fun single pitch. I will say the octopus garden, which was the classic top 100, was Squamish style, very flaring, very dirty, uh, shallow cracks. And we enjoyed um, the climbs next to it much more. All right, out uh, here at the top of 
Flying Circus, the single pitch climb in Squamish. We are in the Smoke Bluffs area. This is pretty awesome views of the town. That's the chief that we were on a couple days ago and the waterfall sections over there. See some more people climbing on the cliff, so it's beautiful. I mean, it's smoky out, unfortunately, but actually really cool. Get a good view of the chief over there. Um, one more day in Spanish, and then we start making our way to Alaska. We just got kicked out of the provincial park. Um, we went back, they told us we had to leave out of the parking lot, even though we've been camping there for two nights three straight, nights. three nights straight. Um, but then when we were there, we were like, maybe we could park there again. Uh, they started towing vans and only vans. Only vans. And there's a million other people in the parking lot, like sleeping in their cars, like sleeping with their trunk open, that kind of thing. We pull up to the parking lot in Squamish. There are like literally 1,500 vans parked. <laughs> uh, they said Squamish has a van life problem and it's, um, it's clear from the Walmart parking lot. Damn. All right, this is Kristen coming up, up to our climb slot machine, which is this nice looking crack there. We weren't able to reserve a day pass up for uh, the chief today. So that required us sneaking past the big entrance station through the forest. <laughs> At least we hiked up to the base of the wall. We're just scrambling the steep slope, waiting for, uh, families and stuff to distract the entrance person and then we would keep moving through the forest until we got to those fixed ropes there oh man they're like just below and lead us to our climb so we got a couple pitches of some sweet granite cracks and uh have a good day in squamish the second pitch of swap machine which is an awesome crack climb right now it ends on this exposed Nice unprotected arete, classic Squamish style. All right, a lot of the climbs here on Squamish involve what they call jungle nearing to get to and get off of. So it's pretty much all down climbing, like steep, exposed <laughs> root systems and moss and all that. So yeah, and this is how you get to and get off of all of the climbs. They're all sold out somehow. They're free, but they're all sold out. And uh, everyone has to check in down there. But this is how we got to the climb. We snuck up and around through the whole forest. So just out here, getting it done. Fugit is on the run. Yeah. Riding our van so hard, we needed to get an oil change. Sad. And guess what? For sprinters, it's not cheap. It's about 250 bucks. So, yikes. Fun. All right, this is time number two <laughs> at Long Walls Ice Cream Joint. It's the last day of the year open, so we had to uh, make our stop for some awesome ice cream before we leave Squamish, sadly. Mm. And, uh, Make her drive to Alaska. 40 hours. 40 hours to see um, Anchorage. We're gonna see Kristen's uncle. Yeah, My sister's flying out. It looks very rainy still. All right, this is our last morning in Squamish. It's starting to get super foggy. It's supposed to be rainy today and in the next couple days you can see the clouds setting in over the top of the wall there um, super pretty 
as the clouds come in to the valley here. And people are starting to pack up, maybe head to the next area. It's gonna be warm for a while. Um, but yeah, sad to be leaving. Mostly because it's a 40 hour drive from here to Anchorage, uh, which is definitely gonna test our sanity quite a bit. Um, and because Squamish is super fun, awesome climbing, uh, really fun, just community and being on town, just really pretty in general, and just cool to try new things in a different country. So, you know, about to uh, pack it up and start our journey to the last frontier, and uh, yeah, get going. All right, right before we leave for Alaska, we stopped at this cool little Adventure Center coffee shop with a cheese in the background there. And they have a pan and chocolate and a ham and cheese. You know. Cows. British Columbia and much of what the drive will look like to Alaska. We're doing whippets <laughs> of the Canadian variety. We found these in a gas station. They're not that good. They're disgusting. Shockingly, they taste like a power bar, protein bar, if you remember those uh, chalky chocolate flavors from back in the day. Uh, doing whippets.